not that you're looking past anything, but there's the potential, I guess, uh, two games or two matches in three days. To see from playing in the SEC tournament and the way you guys wrapped up the season, it was like five and seven days or five and eight or nine days. Does that, does that kind of give you an idea about quick turnarounds and things like that, if that is exactly what happens? Yeah, I think that was definitely a great test um, for that quick turnaround. You know, in the SEC tournament, we played a game, I think it was like a Friday-Sunday layout as well. And so I think that was good for us to realize, you know, how, mu how important recovery is after each game. But like you said, we can't move past the first game. You know, our focus is on Portland first. But um, yeah, quick turnarounds, we've faced it a couple times this season. So I think we're ready for that. Um, after you had a scoring outburst, like you did last game. What things that you did well are you going to want to translate into this Friday's game? Yeah, um, I think last game was a great opportunity for a lot of people to, you know, get the ball in the back of the net, and it was super exciting. Um, I think what really helped us was just our movement off the ball. You know, everyone wanted the ball. Everyone was willing to move and get open in spaces, and I think that's what allowed for our creativity and opportunities in the box. So I think um, if everyone is just willing to, you know, move off the ball, create spaces, want the ball, combine, um, move the ball fast, you know, I think opportunities will be there and that's what makes us so special. It's just our creativity in that final third. So I, we're excited for that and I think Jacksonville State was a good opportunity for us to practice that and showcase that. So hopefully we can get more in the back of the net. You guys maintain the pressing and hunting style of play throughout the season. What goes into an entire team just buying, buying into that and keeping it even going through the NCAA tournament? Yeah, it's like you hit on. It's everyone has to be bought into that to that um, pressing style. You know, if one person's late, if one person isn't on board with it, it can break it all down. So I think for us, that's what makes us so special and so unique is our ability to press and hunt for all 90 minutes. Um, and I think every person on this team has really embraced w their role in that aspect and what they need to do with that. Um, whether that's you know a midfielder stepping up with our front line, whatever it may be, you know, that that pressing mentality is a whole, we have to do it as a unit. And so I think we've kind of really embraced that in our style and um, hopefully keep implementing it. Not that it was really even a question because of the confidence. I mean, you know the way this team plays, but it doesn't seem like much, but a lot of times psychologically it can be a big step going from what is the regular season or SEC tournament to the NCAA tournament. The fact that it seemed like the looseness and that looseness and that team was there. Again, it, it didn't answer a question, but it was something where it's like we, we are this loose group no matter what the, we're facing. Really. Right. Yeah. No, I think that um, the SEC tournament was a good test to be on that big stage, and the NCAA tournament is a big stage, and you know. Um, every game matters and for us uh, being able to be in that top stage in the SEC championship final I think it's those nerves and everything out of the way and like we said you know we have to take it one game at a time and if everyone's bought into the game at hand you know things will take care of itself so I think um, for everyone you know just seeing that result in the first round and being in the top stage in the NCAA tournament and being at home was something that was huge for us and um, I think every single person embraced it and you know for us it's it's just another game it's it is a big stage and it is you know um, a big atmosphere but for us it's just another game and so I think if people can have that mentality going into the game um, and just play like we usually do hopefully we'll get what we want from it. Obviously the SEC is one of the highest levels of play there is but this team being as aggressive as it is they've got to have pretty good conditioning. Has there been times where you think that that conditioning has helped you beat the other team? Oh, for sure. Um, we talk about this all the time. Our summer programming um, that Derek, our strength coach, put us through um, coming back in early July and everyone buying into that, I mean, we can see it each and every day, you know, um, when 70 minutes rolls around and we're still pressing, we're still hunting, we're still fighting, you know, that's all that fitness that we did in the summer. And so for each and every person, we knew this summer, like, how special it was and, um, you know, we'd go out in the field and do pickup and we couldn't even get people to get off the field. You know, we had to maintain our loads and it was by telling people like we have to shut it down. So for people to be that willing and bought into our summer programs and just the conditioning and that aspect, because obviously when season rolls around, we're playing games like crazy. You can't really condition um, in season. And so for us, you know, having that in our like having that from the beginning was something that was crucial for us. And, you know, we can see it to this day. I think each and every person can press and hunt for 90 minutes and still keep going. So it's definitely helped us for sure. So tomorrow's game is set to be in about the 50s. I mean, you've been in a lot of warm weather games throughout the season. Do you do anything different as a player or even as a team to kind of prepare for a more cold weather game? 
You know, no, not really. Um, I think us just training this week um, in this cold weather kind of got us used to it. Wes had us practice at 6 p.m. on Sunday, and so we kind of felt that cold weather on Sunday. And, you know, once you're running around and playing, you don't really think of it. So it is a factor, an aspect, but it is for everyone, you know. Everyone's going to be playing in this cold weather, and it could be worse. We could be somewhere, you know, up north where it's four inches of snow. So for us, it's not too bad, you know. Once you get going, once you get moving, we won't even really think about it watch much film on the Portland and Arizona State game? Um, we've talked about it a little bit as a team and we've kind of run through th some things in practice but it you know we played before them and so a lot of us were able to watch the game um, live and you know it's we can watch film and everything but at the end of the day we're still gonna you know do what we do um, not a whole lot will change so you know we've we've implemented some stuff and kind of talked through some things looked at their key players but I mean for us at the end of the day it's how we're gonna play our game. Kind of piggybacking off of that teams that are ranked either below above or below you in the RPI. What goes into making sure you don't I guess play down to an opponent or just play based on an opponent's skill level? Yeah, um, I think like I said, you know, as long as we play our style, things will kind of take care of itself. You know, for us it's we know the teams coming in and for us it's how can we play around that? Um, whether every team's gonna come in with us being the number one seed and want to give their all, um, play their best. And so we've noticed that through this season is like with our starts, like the first five, ten minutes of the game, teams come flying at us and we got to be prepared for that and we got to match that. So for us, um, just knowing how teams are going to come in and everyone wants to be the number one seed, you know, like everyone wants to be that upset team. Um, and so for us, you know, we just got to match that, match that intensity and just, again, play to our style because at the end of the day, if we take care of what we need, things will things will look good. So for us, it's just doing what we do best and um, not not kind of caving down to that. So There's been a little chaos in the bracket. How do you tune out the outside noise, whatever it may be? Yeah, I mean, I think that stuff happens every year. Um, there's always upsets. There's always crazy results. Um, but I think for us, we just need to focus on, again, one game at a time. It doesn't matter what goes into any of that craziness. Um, because at the end of the day, we have to take care of our business. And so for us, we didn't, we kind of talked about it as a team, we saw that stuff happen, but it doesn't, it doesn't change anything. And so um, I think the more we can just stay focused on the game ahead of us and not look ahead, um, is something that's big in the tournament because a lot of games to be played, um, a lot of different results can happen. And so for us, as long as we take care of our business, you know, um, things will be good. One last question for me, with two games, in a double header since tomorrow. You get any like club vibes from like back in your younger days, <laughs> like just games all day on the same field? Yeah, we talk about that too. It's like, I can't, I don't even know how I did it playing four games in a weekend. You know, you play two games in a, on a Saturday and then turn around two games on a Sunday. Um, but we've all we've all done that, and obviously we're getting older and our bodies, you know, can't do that. But that's what's so special about being at home too, is we have all of our resources here. We're in our environment, um, and I think everyone's, really good about taking responsibility with getting treatment, you know, doing the recovery aspects. It's a professional environment that we have to kind of utilize. And for us, I think we're really good about that because again, like you said, it's a quick turnaround and these high, heavy, intense games, you know, we, we need everyone. And so I think that's also what's special about our team is we have the depth too. So it's, it helps kind of get people rest and recovery and um, helps kind of take some load off people. And so I think for us, you know, having that and that quick turnaround is something that we're gonna really need to take advantage of.